What's going on Toxic Gamers? So today we have another Fallen Angel kind of situation and this time it's to do with the Review Tech USA. Most of you are probably heard of him or watch his content at least once though, right? Uh, I'm assuming most of you guys are aware of, right? But these are the YouTube thumbnails that are going around and you're probably left wondering like what the actual hell is going on right now. The entire community is reacting to it. We're gonna get into it. We're gonna stop the sad music though. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for two likes on the video. Shut up to the homie Dreamcast guy, let's see what went down. This video is going to be completely different from anything else on the channel. Typically, I talk about gaming news and do game reviews and stuff like that, but that's as Dreamcast guy. Okay. Consider this to be like, uh, like, oh man, please don't, please tell me that you're not someone else right now. But. Like a Max rant because I okay, am Max, actually okay, concerned fine. about Rich of Review Tech USA, and I want to talk about it because. Um, I think you need help. I think you need professional help. Rich, I hope you see this video. And uh, I want to talk about the whole situation with him. So, yesterday, he deleted his channel. He just Bro. straight up clicked delete on a YouTube channel with- Yeah, that's the part that don't make sense though, right? I, I guess he has his personal reasonings, but like, dang him, he's still live streaming. So that's the part that don't make sense. There are so many people that would wish to have, uh, like, uh, yeah, you, you know what I mean? A channel with million subs. That is crazy, but okay, let's find out Over why. a million subscribers. Now, a lot of the replies are saying, it's a stupid decision. I can't believe you did it. A lot of people are being like, bro, you got to get canceling. This is not the way. Uh, counseling, brother. He, I guess he has been getting canceled for a while. Nah, man. Like, <laughs> get mama with that, bro. Counseling. Yeah, okay. And a lot of people are saying that something about this is, uh, is very off. Mm. People are guessing it's because of YouTube drama. Boogie! Over the course of the- Boogie! That don't make sense. Oh, um, okay. Now, I guess it makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. So he has been beefing with Boogie. Now, I'm not sure about everything. All I know is that, like, he has been very active in the beefing community, right? Like, he has been beefing for a minute. Uh, he has uh, a lot of, like, active beefs, which I don't follow. I'm gonna be blunt here. But I am aware, like, he beefs a lot, right? And yeah, I mean, that's human nature. Suck is gonna beef, suck is gonna beef. Okay, I get that. But... But that's the thing though, man, like, don't let the beefs get to the point where you're, like, deleting your channel, bro. Like, damn, man. That's crazy. The last year, two years, Rich has been getting into a lot of YouTube drama. But in my yeah. opinion, it wasn't that bad. I mean, I've been a frequent watcher now of Review Tech USA same, since same. pretty much he started his channel. Same, same. Now, if you've never watched him, this guy was tremendously influential to the gaming space. He was a personal inspiration to me. Lucky I've had a chance to talk to Rich, do podcasts with him, and, you know, private DM with him a bunch. Rich is a very chill guy, and he came up with a very chill style of content. Um, he used to I do pretty agree, much daily uploads, where whatever gaming story that personally struck his interest, whether it was a bad review you know, score. You know, that's a bad review score. There we go. Bumble Club Bumble Brothers! God. Now, that's the thing, though. I remember, man. Like, damn, man. You know, that was quite an era when Suckers gave a damn about, like, bad news. Whenever, like, a bad news would hit in gaming, oh, let's make a YouTube video! Because it was not super rare but it was rare nowadays it's like bad news after bad news after bad news it's like that game going woke that game getting a remaster oh so and so game came out unfinished oh so and so game is coming out that would need a day one patch though you know what i mean it's like that sort of situation oh mobile game coming out microtransaction this and that so every day is like a bad situation nowadays it's very rare to have a good news video in gaming and whenever that happens like listen man you get a kick, right? You get a kick, you're like, oh man, I have once in a blue moon, you get a good news. So I feel like that, I remember him uh, mentioning that he's not gonna do gaming news and then in, a couple of days later he would cover a gaming news, which is fine though. You know, he was uh, going through a phase and I guess we all go through our phases, which is, I'm not gonna judge him for that, I'm not criticizing. I'm Listen man, quite simply bro, jokes aside, sarcasm aside, I wish him the best though. You know, sim simple as that brother, like on a human level, I wish him, for, I I wish him the best but it's still kind of strange as to why he deleted his channel because he's still streaming it's not like uh, he's quitting youtube if anybody is doing youtube that when to quits youtube that's their decision that's their decision right so i'm not judging him on that but it's like you're still streaming why, why, on a different channel why not stream on your main channel with more subs with more viewers and uh, yeah you don't want to make videos no more hey that's cool though you do you but like if you want to stream 
hey that's amazing like do it on the main channel that's the part that is like a little weird now the only thing that i know uh, about is that a while ago i believe he had a personal situation with his daughter uh, i believe his daughter was very sick i'm not sure about the outcome though uh, i i hope all turned out to be good uh, but i saw the youtube comments and people are saying that he also had a divorce though so yeah if that's true man i feel like that that adds up right i feel like that all of these things are like piling up piling up and you know him beefing with other youtubers which i, I don't know the reason for i haven't been following the beef situation with him and other youtubers but i feel like that all of that just added up and uh, now he just rage quit in a in a sense on youtube though it, it's a it, it's a it's a sucky situation i want to play you this clip too of uh rgt85 too in a second but wait for or it. or some merger or some game being announced he'd just talk about it a lot of times it didn't even show his face he would just straight up show like usually call of duty gameplay show like random wii u games or whatever and he'd talk about it call of duty and it really Damn created it. this connection to it like mm. rich's content was incredibly fun because it did feel like you knew him right like the content was so chill he would mix in all sorts of funny other videos where he talked about you know how bad it is trying to date in your 30s he talked about working at retail stores and stuff like that review tech usa blew up dog i'm pushing 30 what do you mean <laughs> it ain't that bad i don't think it's gonna be that bad dating in your 30s bro you're you're like in your 30s you're just cruising i mean you're not even cruising i would say like in your 40s and 50s you're kind of cruising in 30s you're like an early bird though in your 30s like the homies are learning to like pick up the uh the ropes right you're learning the ropes in your 30s man what what are you talking about right now man this is not like the the 1800s or something like that where 30 th uh, in your 30s man you're like you know full-blown chat i mean you can still be a chad in your 20s but what i mean is that the 20s and the 30s of 1800s versus 2020s 2024 the 2020s of today vastly different widely different you cannot compare the two right because back in the days bro like you had to do so much uh to do crap like so much labor nowadays like everything is available in your phone right like back in the days bro man like it was a hassle now these suckers are just swiping right swiping left on tinder while chilling you know in their sweatpants in their bedroom right like yeah. you cannot compare you cannot compare it dog you cannot compare it but and it let's definitely felt like it. it deserved to blow up but according to that rise he always got a lot of backlash and hate but i think every youtuber does right i mean anybody philip defranco any streamer you like is constantly getting loved and hated. I mean, yeah. people act like I'm the worst YouTuber on the planet, but then also I get millions of views and people do like me and stuff like that. So I feel like everybody gets teared down. Just that's the nature of stuff, right? It's the same with Hollywood celebrities and stuff. You could be the biggest, most popular guy and people are going to talk about how much they despise you. You could find some like GeoCities hate blog. But I do think Rich had the problem with kind of internalizing the drama. Uh, I feel like the hardest part about this job is that you really can't care what people say about you and at a certain point i feel like it's just not good for your mental health to look at what people are saying about you like this guy had over a million subscribers and he does yeah. still have a side channel which we're going to yeah. talk about in a bit but if you have a million subscribers mm -hmm. clearly people like you clearly people want to hear what you have to say people clearly enjoy and engage and are there for your content right I mean, it feels like I always thought Rich was one of those people that really managed to come out there and make his own style of stuff and really took off because he figured out this vibe, this rhythm that other people yeah, had. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, he yeah, definitely yeah. cared a lot about the drama. When people would accuse him of having a bad camera or being a low cow or whatever, it really seemed to bother him. Now, Rich, Damn. obviously... I'm From my experience, though, like, sickers don't care about, like, YouTube videos being perfect, right? Of course you want to put perfection into it, right? You want to do your best. But at the end of the day, like, I feel like that the human connection is more important. Like, the, the connection. You don't want to sit there watch a robot, right? Like, how many AI channels? And I'm not, like, taking a jab at AI channels. There are channels which do AI commentary or they use AI for their narration and the voiceover. And, yeah, like, sometimes it's professional. And, uh, you know, the content is kind of chill and good to watch. But you're not, like, building a human connection. With Review Tech USA, I would say, like, yeah, he was making chill videos. And, you know, there was a human connection. It, it like that he gave a crap about it you know what i mean and now uh it's not that i guess so and he deleted his channel so it's like bruh like bruh 
I'm a much smaller YouTuber. I'm like 240,000 subscribers. So you're literally, your main channel is four times bigger than I've ever been. But people- uh, To be fair though, no, nah, he right. But to be fair, subs don't really matter. It's all about viewers. And especially with the algorithm nowadays on YouTube, it's like, bruh, like they don't care, man. You know, subs don't matter. They're just gonna push out your content regardless of your sub count. Uh, I guess initial subs do matter for sure, but after that it's like the the topic and the algorithm and just the clicks, right? Simple as that. If anybody wanna be a YouTuber, that's the formula for you. If uh, any of you doing YouTube, <laughs> that's the formula, man. Topics. If the type topic is wide enough and you can get clicks on and you can have people enjoy your crap, that's it. Simple as that. It's nothing complicated. It's nothing complicated. Nothing complicated. I mean. Easier said than done for sure, but that's like the formula nowadays. Subs don't really matter, bro. It's the viewers, it's the people, you know, that are watching. Like, yeah, it's numbers on the screens, but those are people. You feel what I'm saying? Like, shout out to all of you stud muffins out there, man. Shout out to all of you toxic gamers. Toxic gamers, toxic gamers. Uh, shout out to all of you, man, for being gang gang. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Gang gang, bruh. bruh. People send me stupid hate too, right? I have, I get comments about people talking about wanting to torture my cat to death and saying that I'm a horrible human being for saying Xbox is going to fail. At a certain point, I think you have to stop reading the comments. You gotta stop reading the replies, you gotta stop caring. Now, obviously that's a lot easier said than done. I feel like whatever YouTuber needs to have is a hobby that isn't YouTube. Now, now listen, man, getting hated for giving your opinion on a PlayStation or a Xbox, that's wild. Like, come on, dog. I guess we can all agree, bro. That's actually crazy. Imagine having another human hate you, not because of your character or not because of what you have done or not done. But they hate you because, like, you have said some bad things about PlayStation. Or Xbox. In the case of the homie Dreamcast guy, okay? I guess we can all agree. Whether you're a Sony pony or an Xbox Andy or not, I guess you can, we can all agree. That's a little, that's a little too wild, though. That's a little too wild, though, man. That's a little too wild. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying, man. Uh, shout out to the Sony ponies and the Xbox Andys, though. <laughs> Right? I'm super into fitness. I do board game nights with my bros Damn. every single week. Uh, my girlfriend and I go on lots of dates where we put on silly outfits or dress up or whatever like that. And I'll be honest, I don't look at the comments. What? Like, what? He got a girl though. <laughs> and look at you guys. Look at you, man. You out there with your like dummy out there, bruh. I'm talking to you guys, man. Put that cookie down immediately. Go do 10 push ups, 100 push ups. Go do 100 push ups right now. Be on your A game, man. Damn, man. This is why I'm mad at you guys, man. You guys, come on, man. Like, damn, what you guys doing, man? Damn, though. Look at you, Dreamcast guy. They grow up fast, though. You know, they grow up. They do be growing up fast. Now, I'm happy for the fella, man. Jokes aside, like, I'm happy for the fella. Yeah, bro, I'm absolutely. I don't, uh, that's my excuse. Uh, I don't be, be, uh, get that much time to go to the gym, but I work out every day though. You know what I mean? Next level for me would be going to the gym, right? I just need you guys to bully me in the comments, man. Go to the gym, sucker! <laughs> you know what I mean? But I try to work out every single day though, so that, that's a, that's a, that's a, but, but still, I can be better. We, we can all be better. But now, nah, man, I'm happy for the guy, like, working out, making YouTube videos, you know? Calling out Xbox, calling out PlayStation, right? You know, yeah, right? Having a girl, you know, damn, that's crazy though. I'm happy for the fellow. I'm happy look for at the, the replies. Fellow. I'll look at stuff here and there to make sure there's not like editing errors and stuff, but I'm not gonna be Googling my own name and watching videos of people that hate me and stuff like that because it's not gonna do me any good. <laughs> like, the human brain is not constructed to properly handle stadium fulls of people yelling at you. It, it just collapses in on itself. So if anything, I think the best way to do YouTube is work, write your scripts, edit your content, and then step away from it. Go read a book, go ride a bike, stuff like that. YouTube is fun, I like YouTube, but this ain't my life. This is my fun job that I'm lucky to have. And I feel like Rich started to fall into the trap where he just wanted to be liked, he wanted to be beloved. But this also goes beyond that, even that. I feel like- uh, you, I feel like that this is true for everything, uh, for sure. Like, I was super attached to YouTube back in the days. I still am, don't get me wrong. I love this. I, I love the fact that you guys are here and all that. But I feel like that this worked for me. It, uh, when you, like, step outside, what I mean by this is that, for example, if you're working 
on a project that is like super dear to you you also need to find another side hustle you know you need to find like another thing you love too then you can have your focus on the the, the passion for for me it's like hey youtube and like other stuff in real life right i'm also pursuing acting as well so doing like commercials here and there so like i'm dividing my focus and dividing my attention to like this crap and, and that made that makes me appreciate youtube a lot more and uh, also i'm not like super emotionally heavy into it either which makes better content because when you're like super like laser focused it's good but you know then it's not fun you know what i mean and i guess like you, you just need like different hobbies that's all i'm saying like so in this case like if you're working a job you need another side hustle uh and also you need to work out gym or work out at home whatever works i guess you need to move your body essentially and you need like different side hustles uh, a you're gonna generate revenue and income which is good especially in this day and age with the economy or oh, you need like different sources of revenue right unless you are living in a third world country for example i'm from pakistan right i'm in canada uh but if i were to go back in my country oh bro i'm rich as a motherfucker right there okay because why earning in canadians or usd and then spending in like different currency and the rates are super low y you know what i mean right but if you are in america in america in in let's just say north america or europe if you're earning in euros pounds and you're like uh spending in that currency bruh you need multiple sources of revenue i swear to god man so it's gonna be good for your mental health and also you're doing multiple things you're working out working out is natural way of your get you getting dopamine and you don't need like uh any meds or any crap like that uh of course uh in some situations you do need but generally speaking you don't you just gotta work out you just gotta work out Rich. Un unless you have a serious underlying condition then that's different i'm talking about general people right generally i think you're having a chemical imbalance for the last year or two your behavior has become very erratic a lot of your inside jokes about birds you randomly rip off your clothes in every live stream and stuff like that like i get that it's supposed to be silly i i get that it's a joke but it's still I am one more bird joke away from having a nervous breakdown, dog. Like, what the <laughs> Now, honestly, I don't mind, though. I don't mind. Yeah, he had a lot of bird jokes, but so what, man? Like, let, let the man joke about bird, though. It's, it's his thing. Like, I don't care about that. But, yeah, now it's serious because he took down his channel, right? That's wild. I guess he still has time. I'm not sure how... Uh, but I heard this. I'm not sure how this works exactly. I want to show you this clip, too. But what I heard is that if you delete your channel you have i believe 30 days or some amount of time where you can still reinstate your channel okay so you can revive your channel oh, shit. Oh, yeah yeah i heard that not sure if it's still true or not don't quest uh, i mean don't quote me on that one don't go ahead and delete your channel and then be like yes i'm gonna uh, reinstate my channel imagine it don't work yeah that's the thing though imagine it don't work but i heard that you can do that so maybe he's gonna be back maybe not I guess it's a stupid thing, but shout out to the homie RGT85 Roller. A a channel of over a million subscribers just gone in an instant because of a potentially knee-jerk reaction. And that's, you know, a million subscribers is something that a lot of people on this platform will never achieve. That is an achievement at the facts, end of the day. Facts, facts, now, facts, how long facts, it took facts. you to get there, none of that really matters. It's all about the achievement. I'll never get a million subscribers, and I'm okay with that. 500k is what I wanted to hit, and everything after that is a blessing. You know, some people I know, John's bro like if you keep uploading videos you're gonna hit a million subs bro like simple simple i, I feel like that every youtuber nowadays say that no nah, bro I'll, I'll never hit a million subs has 900 thousand 900 900 uh, 900 thousand 999 subs <laughs> never hit a million subs and then day later hits a million subs like bro what are we talking about you're gonna hit it man get one with that crap bro spawn wave mvg they'll, they'll probably hit a million one day but they you will that. too man you will too i will too man we all will do man we all will do man uh guys let's go for two likes on the video man that's the only way we might hit man. <laughs> you know what i'm saying i'll never be able to hit it though i'll never be able to hit it if you guys don't do that and man. then completely throw that away because of circumstances is a very very bizarre situation that i feel like a lot of people don't understand why and i'm not going to say that i understand why he decided to do that i'm sure he's talked about it on his streaming channel he does have a streaming channel but i just kind of want to talk about you know how this kind of thing ends up happening because things have definitely gotten weirder 
with him over the past couple of years. You know, there was the situation with his editor, Jay, and him and Jay having a falling out. And then they were at each other's throats, but then they were cool Ooh, again, yeah. but then they were at each other's throats. Yeah, he, uh, yeah, okay, so Jay does sound, does ring a bell. I believe, yeah, that's his editor. So he was beefing with his editor too, right? Damn. Like, I feel like what's being put out there for the public eye and for public consumption isn't necessarily what's happening, you know, behind the scenes. I, I feel like there's a lot of question marks associated mm. with this story. And mm. one of the things mm. is, mm. you know, part of me is like, well, why does anybody care about this? But in the same breath, it's like when things play out in the public eye, when you see a decline in someone that you've been following, you know, for years, you've been watching their content for years, you grow an attachment to those people. You grow an attachment to those individuals, whether it's, you know, just being a fan of their content or, you know, enjoying them as a, as a creator, as a person behind them. You build up an image of someone from watching them. You feel like you, you, you garnish a connection with them. And then to see that connection kind of change and things be thrown into that, like you don't know how to react now i'm not gonna say rich and i are like the best of friends you know we have you know he has done things to help me out though when i had a situation with a, a wii u eShop developer that was just a bizarre situation before i even really knew rich he mm. actually reached out to me and wanted to cover that story you know there's been a couple other times where he has you know done things that were very friendly towards me but i would say those things uh, yeah this era is like really strange right like yeah you hear like all these crazy stories so and so got caught you know and then you also have stories like that so and so went insane so and so passed away uh a youtuber just and deleted his channel in this case review tech usa for stuff uh, i guess uh, that we understand and that we don't understand mm, yeah like th this is a really strange decade though i i still wish him the best though like listen man on a human level bro like I, I i i wish everybody the best though you know unless they are really like uh you know terrible human beings right but other than that, like, I, I wish everybody, like, have a good life. Everybody, like, changes their bad situation to good. You, you feel what I'm saying, right? But, guys, check out this video on the screen. Recently, a massive streamer ended up getting caught cheating, though. Yeah! Check out this situation on, on uh, check out this video on the store, uh, on the, check out this video, man! Crazy situation with Activision, and I'll see you right there.